A communications device so small that it fits inside a badge you stick on your chest. To a Star Trek kid growing up in the 90s, there was nothing cooler than the comm badge. And I amassed quite a collection of replicas over the years. But this isn't just another hunk of chrome-plated pot metal or painted resin. This is a communicator pin that actually works. Well, sometimes. I'm Michael Fisher, and this is the Star Trek Bluetooth Com Badge by FameTech. Physically, the Com Badge is a pretty good approximation of the one Picard and crew wore on Star Trek The Next Generation. The biggest differences are in thickness and in the casing penetrations. You've got one for the speaker, the microphone, the status LED, and the charging jack. It's a shame FameTech couldn't include wireless charging, which would have been much more futuristic. And I also wish the touch action was capacitive instead of a physical switch. That said, there's already a ton of tech packed into this tiny package. And I'm happy to see that this model avoids the gaudy mirror finish that plagues so many of its static contemporaries. It attaches to your clothes with a magnetic backing strong enough for shirts, if not jackets. And it's lightweight enough that I sometimes forget I'm wearing it, which leads to some funny looks in public. When it comes to functionality, the badge has two modes of operation. Cosplay mode keeps the radio turned off, so it just chirps when you tap it. The sound effect is loud, clear, and perfect. Bluetooth mode is where the communicator does its communicating. As long as your phone or tablet has Bluetooth, which it does, you can pair the devices wirelessly, and the badge will then serve as your speakerphone. A single tap answers or ends calls, a double tap triggers Siri or Google Now, or Cortana if you're on Windows, and if your phone isn't ringing, a single tap will fire up your media player. Given the quality of the onboard speaker, I wish that music feature wasn't there. Even in a quiet room, the speaker sound is pretty thin and raspy. I'd blame the small footprint, but I've heard better sound from smartwatches of similar size. My culture is based on freedom and self-determination. Freedom is irrelevant. Self-determination is irrelevant. You must comply. We would rather die. Death is irrelevant. It's worse on phone calls. Callers said I was understandable, but distorted and peaky. That said, I was able to get the automated system at my bank to understand me without repeating myself, and I was able to hear turn-by-turn -turn directions from Google Maps while strolling city sidewalks. Let me tell you, this kind of practical use out in the real world is just intoxicating if you grew up wishing com badges were real. Sadly, living with that wish means putting up with a bad user interface. Of the nine different commands the com badge can execute, seven use the same confirmation sound. That means it's very difficult to know what the com badge is doing when you tap it without looking at the LED. That'd be forgivable if the badge only ever made one sound on the show, but there were all kinds of chirps that came out of these things. And then there are the bugs. No matter what phone I connected to, the badge regularly dropped the connection on all of them. So I had to constantly reconnect to keep using it. Oh, and when it is connected, the badge chirps on its own. Often. For no reason. Oh. Maybe that has something to do with the fact that the battery on mine ran itself dry in less than a fifth of its rated 10-hour uptime. If this were a phone review, this is the part where I'd say, hopefully these issues can be fixed with software updates. But there's no apparent mechanism for that. At this point, my biggest hope is that later production batches will perform better. My review unit is one of the first off the line. I really wanted to love this thing. Part of me, the Combadge Captivated Kid from 1991, still does. And he might even spend 80 bucks on it, despite the flaws. But he's dumb with money. And my job is trying to help you spend yours wisely. If you want a badge that looks like this one, there are significantly less expensive options out there. And if you want a Star Trek Bluetooth communicator that works well, there's one of those too. Sure, it's from 100 years earlier in future history and it costs a bit more, but it earns its price tag. To see my review of that communicator, as well as tons of other tech from Trek to today, visit Mr. Mobile on YouTube and subscribe while you're there. Until next time, thanks for watching, keep your hailing frequencies open, and stay mobile, my friends.
One more time. A little less like you want to kill me. <laughs> a little more like, what? you're a weird dude. <laughs>